Hey, it's Joshua Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And here we are at Google I.O. 2015, and I'm actually here to show you a brand new app, or rather ecosystem even, that was just released and announced at Google I.O.'s keynote. And it is, of course, Google Photos. You can see that I already have it downloaded and it actually is occupying its own home screen right now on my S6 Edge. Uh, but Google Photos went live and you can find it at photos.google.com on a desktop, on your laptop or anything. And it is a lot like, um, it's, very, uh, it's a very Google stylistic, let's say, Flickr page. Uh, you will have some tools there for editing uh, and it will show all of your photos there as well. But here is the splash screen for the first boot up, as you can see there, and it looks already pretty nice. What we have here, essentially, is just a place to be able to upload and store all of your photos and videos from the beginning of time and for all of the future. You will be able to download a version of Google Photos onto your smartphones, your tablets, and also on the desktop. Now, the desktop also comes with a standalone uploader, which will automatically upload photos from your My Pictures folder, from your Downloads folder, pretty much anything that you would pick, And which is important to me because I take screenshots on my laptop all the time, and I would love for those to be backed up, much like on Dropbox. So I can always create a folder that the screenshots end up going to, and then it will uh, automatically upload them to Google Photos. And you can see the splash screen right now, backed up safely, always stored, and you will be able to organize and label them accordingly. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and back up and sync and only backup when Wi-Fi is available for mine. High quality, now this is the kicker right here. High quality images are going to be stored, but they will be at a reduced file size. But if you really wanted to put full resolution or even full raw files, for example, or full 4K uh, video files, you would have to use whatever storage you have paid for or have on Google Drive. And you can always pay for more if it came down to it. In my case, I have a 100 gigabyte storage uh, promotion going on, so that's why I have 148. We'll go ahead and hit to go forward. You can always pinch to zoom and you can go for months or go into the weeks or the days and whatnot. Uh, you can select things quicker by pressing hold and then swiping downward in order to select everything, which I think is a functionality that should be in all, <laughs> all Android devices, no matter if it's in the gallery or whatnot. You can navigate from left to right to different collections and different types of uh, categorizations. Oop, and my Google Play service has stopped, which is unfortunate, but anyway. And you can also find faster by searching. Now, searching is also categorized contextually so that what you'll be able to do is look up pictures of dogs. You'll look up pictures of you playing baseball. You'll look up pictures based upon the geotagging of a photo. For example, on the desktop version, and I'll show it to you right here as well, I do already have some pictures that are showing up from the last week or so. Now the Photos Assistant is what is going to be in the Assistant page, uh, the first page that is over all the way on the left, uh, and it will give you a look at the different types of uh, photos and videos that are put together into little memories packages, which is really nice. So I'll go ahead and swipe that away, and we're also gonna back up different device folders, so back up folders like downloads and screenshots, like I mentioned to you, was already available in the desktop version, which is great. So we're gonna go from here, Photos, Collections. It is still aggregating all of my photos from, from the cloud, from my Google Plus page already. So there we go. Now we have in search the ability to look for faces. Now, people from all over my walks of life have appeared on here. Even some pictures from uh, various screenshots I took. You can see that the Joker's face is right there. So pretty much any face that comes up in your photos that is prominent will be able to show up automatically, and you'll be able to easily find pictures of those people. Like for example, we even have pictures of Darcy here, and we're going to see pictures of him in here as well. Now we're going to see pictures of even just me. I'm always going to be the first one that's available there. Uh, and uh, really, they're just, easy ways of finding extra people. You can also go to places, and this is where things get geotagged. You'll have uh, geotagged photos from Los Angeles, uh, Pasadena, places that I've been to, Singapore even. And if I were to search for a photo, or rather, let me hit search. Let's say I wanted to search for Seattle. This, this example I already found on my desktop. These were all photos that were geotagged in Seattle, but not only that, there were landmarks from Seattle, like the Pike Place Market, uh, the uh, Space Needle, which is this picture right here, where I was actually on the Space Needle that I took there, that are all categorized under the Seattle search. Um, and things like pictures of food. I'll have all of my foodie pictures in this particular category, and I take quite a lot of them, as you've seen in my camera shootouts. Um, and the sky types, videos, creations, even photos that are just in my Google Drive. So on the desktop, it looks about as simple as it does right here with the 
uh, menu over on the side. Even the even the editing tools are pretty simple. You'll be able to uh, you'll be able to crop your photos, uh, and if you wanted to, you can tag photos via the descriptions of them. So if I were to hold on here, oops, if I were to press on here and then open here, I can add info into the details if I wanted to, on, at least on the desktop version. I don't see why, I, I, don't, I can't do it right here, right now. Uh, but really, that's just a quick look at Google Photos. It's a brand new ecosystem that has one major trait to it, the fact that you can upload all of your photos and videos to it, uh, albeit at maybe a slightly smaller file size, uh, hopefully not enough to detract from the quality of the photo, but you can do it unlimited and absolutely free. Google Photos is a pretty nice ecosystem. It's almost like Google Play, uh, Google Play Music from two years ago. Uh, they're hoping that this will be the end-all deal for a lot of people who are hoping to safely back up all of their memories to the cloud. Nonetheless, this is Joshua Vigar from Android 30 reporting to you live from Google I.O. 2015 here at the Moscone Center in San Francisco, California. Keep it tuned here for even more because we are your source for all things Google I.O.